is gonna be what I wish I knew before joining a sorority at Columbia University. I'm wearing my hood because I didn't do my hair today. I really hope again I don't offend anyone with this video. I'm just gonna try to be as honest as I can. So I'm gonna talk about the rush process and then what it's like actually being in a sorority. Basically, the rush process for sororities is so different than fraternities. I think sororities are better than fraternities in every single way except the rush process because to join a fraternity, the rush process your rush process is like you go to the house and you meet the brothers and it's like a more chill environment and you like whatever do whatever and then if they think you're cool they'll bring you back and then it's a smaller group and you're just kind of like talking to people and like growing out i think i actually don't have that many friends in frats because i don't have that many friends a sorority it's so different it's like a three-day process and it is the worst thing I think I've went through in my time at Barnard and as I mentioned in my last video I literally severed my tendon I was called scooter girl I could not walk and I think rush was worse basically you go into a room there's like a hundred girls who are trying to rush maybe more and they line you up and you have to go talk to every sorority so there's six sororities at Columbia and they want you to talk to every single sorority so that every single sorority has an equal and fighting chance to get you in their sorority you're not allowed to talk about certain things it's like the four b's booze boys brownstones but I don't know, Bible. There's a fourth B, barbecue. Okay, so you have to keep that in mind when you're going in. My year, the first day was like casual, like you wear whatever you want, but now I think they give you a t-shirt to wear to make it more equitable, which is so dumb because even if you're wearing a t-shirt, like you can still wear any sort of jewelry you want or like any sort of fancy belt. So it's still like not super equitable, I know, it's crazy, it's literally insane. Anyway, so the first round, you talk to each sorority, I think for 15 minutes, so you go to six sororities, and so you walk in, sorry, you don't talk to, that. Each sorority, you talk to them for 15 minutes, so you have five minutes, with each person you talk to, which is usually three people. And it's a lot of questions like, what's your major? Where are you from? What are you studying? Why did you choose Barnard or Columbia? Blah, 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 blah. But it's so superficial and it's so much social energy. If you're an extrovert, this is probably so much easier for you. But as an introvert, I was like, I hate small talk. And so talking to people who I don't know for 15 minutes per sorority, 15 times six, uh, six times five is 30 carried to three 90 minutes an hour and a half is like torture and it's the same conversation for each sorority so each sorority you go to it's the same exact conversation the next day you get invited back to sorority this is where it gets also like personally damaging because you when they get attached to sorority the first day and they don't want to invite you back and also going into it people have ideas of what sororities are the coolest and also so two of the sororities are newer and they don't have brownstones and that's why you're not allowed to talk about brownstones you're not supposed to know which sororities have brownstones yeah so the next thing you get invited back people get so upset this is like where friendships break because people get really attached to a sorority oh my god it's crazy and then a lot of people drop this round because they don't get into their top two or three sororities and then they're like i don't want to be in a sorority that badly i just wanted to be in this one sorority i will say if there's a sorority you really want to be in and you know that it's kind of like a networking thing because columbia is all about networking you have to like talk to the girls in that sorority because each round oh my god as someone who's been on the other side of like rounds going in like you literally rate the girls who come in our my sorority is super nice and i love them so much and like we tried to do this in like the least awful way but there are five categories that you rate them on and it's like extracurricular activities i don't even know did they ask enough about your sorority there's a looks category so my sorority was like for looks like give everyone the same thing whatever like that's the worst part is like you like discuss and you rate the people this is real tea like i don't even know i don't know how many people knew this going into sororities i wonder if i'm gonna get kicked out of my sorority for making this video that's insane that would be literally insane okay so that's the first day the next day is philanthropy day this day is a little more wholesome because you talk to the next people for a longer period of time so it's more like in-depth conversation which i like better because it's not just like hey what's your name cool 
it's more like your passion blah 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 why you're interested in philanthropy on philanthropy day ask a lot about philanthropy because that is one of the categories you're gonna be rated on is how much you care about philanthropy yeah so that's fine you'll hear speeches okay that's philanthropy day the last day i can't remember if there's a round before this but the last night is preference night so this is when i think you can only go to two sororities at this point and you sit with someone for like an hour and this is someone you probably have already met before unless the person you've met before is meeting with a different person and they're just kind of like welcome back we're so happy to have you like this is why you should choose us it's more of a like common conversation like i brought three people this day and they like asked me a lot of questions and i was like Honestly, I obviously want you to choose my sorority because I love my sorority, but I understand if you choose a different sorority. And then the next night, everyone in the sorority has to sit in a room for like, I don't know, so many hours while you go through each girl individually. Like whoever prepped you, like kind of like advocates for you. I'm describing the negatives from both sides. Like going through rush, it sucks. Like you're gonna feel a pit in your stomach unless you get the sorority you want, which is like amazing. But even so, you're kind of like, this this is so superficial this makes no sense we're lining up like cattle to get inside this room blah blah, blah. and then the next day blah, blah blah you get an envelope with your bid and if you were invited back to two sororities you rank them and it's a it's a mutual selection process um and then you open the bid and then it's like exciting you're like ah i'm so happy mm -hmm. the other thing i would talk about rushing some sororities the new chapters do something called informal rush and I highly suggest if you know what sorority you want to go in you do informal rush because it's so different than what I just described. Informal rush is like you have like coffee chats like you may have like three coffee chats in a row and it's just so much chiller like it's just you and a member of the sorority who obviously loves the sorority because they're going on a coffee chat with you. I went on so many coffee chats with people and I just like had a great time and it was just like this is so funny like this is so fun um like join a sorority like don't be nervous like as long as you're like nice and decent and like want to join a sorority and don't say anything offensive then like you're in the sorority basically or my sorority that's how we do it. Okay I'm trying to find I have a journal entry. Okay so some other positives about being a recruiter for a sorority. I was recruiting today and talked to so many lovely women. Recruitment always makes makes me love my sorority and my sisters which is lame obviously but there's something so powerful about being in a space that protects and loves women and all the sororities honestly like we're not trying to be heteronormative like as someone who doesn't identify as being straight I will say I felt so welcome in my sorority I don't know what it's like in other sororities I'm assuming everyone's the same like none of the sororities are mean None of the stories are trying to be awful. Like none of the, it's, these girls are not out to get you. Like it's not like what you see in the movies where sorority girls are really mean. Like it's really not like that. People who join sororities are honestly looking for a community. If I'm gonna be honest, like some sororities have more clout than other sororities. So that is a factor. But I will say if you're looking for friends, any sorority you join is gonna provide that community for you. But the other two about sororities is depending on your unofficial ranking, your mixers may be different. So. If if you're considered a higher sorority you like really only mix with the higher brats more highly ranked brats which does hurt people's feelings i would say and it is like a really weird thing i can't explain it. like my sorority some brats didn't want to mix with us and like we didn't mix with those frats but we did mix with a lot of other frats and also those sororities won't mix with other frats it like really evens out also i would say not to take it too personally because frats only have a certain budget so they can't mix with everyone if they built up a really good partnership with a sorority like they're gonna keep mixing with that sorority like that's okay to summarize i am really happy i joined the sorority and i met my best friends some of my best friends in a sorority you get a big who loves you and then you get a little who you love and you can have like different like family members in your sorority also my friend group my immediate friend group or like my best friends two of them aren't in sororities like me and my one friend were in the same sorority my one best friend my other best friend was in a different sorority. My other best friend was in a different sorority from that. I think besides maybe one sorority, I've had a really, really close friend in every single sorority and I've had friends not in sororities. It doesn't affect anything like that. And then I love my big, I love my little. All the sororities you can join in Columbia are gonna be good. They're gonna be a good sorority. Just like what I wish I knew going into this was the rush process is so slimy and it's so gross and I don't know how to fix that. That's all I have to say. Thank you for recording. 
requesting this video. Hope I was helpful. Again, I hope I didn't offend anyone. I guess that's really hard to do when you're putting videos of yourself on the internet talking about controversial topics. If anyone wants to talk more about this off the record, follow our Instagram, DM us. I can give you some more uh, details. I can tell you what sorority I'm in. I love my sorority so much. I think everyone's so nice, so friendly. Because my sorority is really big, every class I'm in, I have people who I know in the class, which is like so nice. Like just being able to walk in and like sit with friends, like not be scared. And also the sororities you join will have people from all the undergraduate schools. So Barnard, CC, C's, and GS. So you're like meeting everyone. It's amazing, jolly. Thank you for watching this video. I hope I didn't forget anything. I think Margaret's gonna post about not being a sorority. Margaret's not a sorority. As you can see, we're best friends. Yeah, just in general, also like being super feminine is not a bad thing. Don't let the patriarchy make you feel bad about wanting to be in a sorority. Don't let people be like, oh my god, you're in a sorority because that's really offensive and that's just like buying into this idea that women can't be with other women or it's superficial. Okay, do you guys want to see what my hair looks like? Oh, actually, that's not that bad. Thank you. Like, comment, subscribe if you like this video. Follow us on Instagram. Comment what else you want to see. This video and our last video were both requested and we both, we did it. So if there's anything else you want to see, we'll talk about it and we're trying to like do it in a really polite and appropriate way. Okay, bye vlog.